<laughs> hindi na appreciate ng tao itong segregation natin sa basura ngayon kasi ang basura eh para yung bang ah, wala ka mama wala ka mama kuha dyan basura naman yan pisunugin natin There is a lot of ways how people improperly dispose their solid waste, but one of the most that pose a serious risk to your health and the environment is what is called open burning. What is open burning exactly? According to Republic Act 9003, open burning is the combustion of any solid waste material such as paper, plastics, leaves, fibers, textiles, wood chips, and other debris in such a manner the products of combustion resulting from the burning are emitted directly into the air. Because of this burning, toxic and gases are released into the environment and can especially affect people with sensitive respiratory systems, as well as the children and the elderly. International and local institutions have been putting a great deal of effort to stop open burning. But one of the most notable initiatives for this is the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants, an international environmental treaty signed in 2001 and effective from May 2004 that aims to eliminate or restrict the production and use of persistent organic pollutants. Along with the 152 signatories of this treaty, the Philippines has several laws set out to stop improper disposal, especially open burning. The Philippine government has been very active in implementing these laws and regulations, both at the national level and local levels to curb the practice of open burning. UNIDO or the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, in collaboration with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, and funded by the Global Environment Facility, with four other participating countries, namely Vietnam, Cambodia, Lao People's Democratic Republic, Mongolia, together with the Philippines, had implemented a regional project entitled demonstration of best available techniques and best environmental practices in open burning activities in response to the Stockholm Convention on the Persistent Organic Pollutants. This project consists of five components, legislation improvement, institutional strengthening, demonstration activities on pilot sites, education and awareness rising, and monitoring and evaluation. As part of the efforts to strengthen the legislations pertaining to solid waste management, National Solid Waste Management Commission or NSWMC resolution has been drafted with support coming from the solid waste management experts through consultations. A series of trainings in among the regional countries were conducted. Toolkits and manuals were also developed as part of the accomplishment of the project. In addition, Regional and Philippine national websites pertaining to stopping open burning has been developed, as well as the series of IEC materials. To improve education and awareness for this matter, open burning and existing Philippine laws was included in the syllabus for energy engineering graduate class at DLSU and PLM. Brochures pertaining to no to open burning have been produced as well specifically tailored to the different stakeholders. In addition to these efforts, other activities such as poster making and photo competition, Unido at the Fort Zero Waste, and series of funerals in Quezon City and General Santa City were conducted. This project aims to create resource-efficient waste management systems to reduce POPs emissions through the introduction of best available techniques and best environmental practices in open burning sources. 
one of the most notable accomplishments of the demonstration of best available techniques and best environmental practices in open burning activities is the establishment of a fully mechanized central materials recovery facility in General Santos. UNIDO has been aware of the local situation of waste management in General Santos City as well as in the country. Thus, it needs to stop. Isa lang ang layunin ng proyekto, ang maiiwas ang ating pamayanan, ang ating bansa at ang buong mundo sa health and environmental impacts ng mga mapanganib na chemical na tinatawag na POPs. Through the efforts of the respective parties in a grant from the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, through the UN Development Program Global Environmental Finance, the country's first large-scale mechanized MRF has been built. The Centralized Materials Recovery Facility was inaugurated last February 2019 and was attended by the representatives from UNIDO, the city officials headed by the Honorable Mayor, the DANR officials, local stakeholders, and the press. The 35 million CMR ref is now located at the Sanitary Landfill in Barangay Sinawal, in General Santa City. The facility has the capacity to treat 5 tons of waste per hour. The CMR ref in Barangay Sinawal was developed by Markel Machineries Manufacturing. The CMR ref is a fully mechanized materials recovery facility. So, how does it actually work? The process starts by dipping the waste to the first conveyor, where fine bits of waste are removed through a rotary screen. The sorting personnel then will segregate the waste as it passes along the conveyor, according to the types of waste such as glass and bottles, recyclable plastics, recyclable paper and cartons, metals, and residual wastes. Biodegradable wastes are also composted to be used as fertilizers. The residual wastes which can be recycled or reused are properly disposed. Plastics that cannot be recycled or run fresh rather get mixed with cement and water to be turned to a brick. The bricks being made out of recycled materials makes it viable way to treat non-recyclable plastics that can also help the local community. Establishing the CMRF has been a huge benefit to the communities in General Santa City. The CMRF also serves as a good model to other LGUs. Operating CMRF doesn't just help promote solid waste management and stop open burning. It also has Our a huge social dumpling. impact. It's really, I described it uh, before as it's like a burning hell. Uh, it's very visible because it is in the flight path of the airport, so you can see the uh, fumes and smoke there. Uh, we occupied almost 10 hectares, so imagine that. It's open burning. Everything is being uh, uh, burned in that area. And there's a lot of uh, scavengers in that area before. But that's the situation before. I think 250 scavengers. Yes making livelihood in that area. But uh, after we transferred, when we have this uh, sanitary landfill uh, where our facility is now uh, located, uh, we have a lot of uh, education uh, with those uh, waste pickers before. So uh, we encourage them and actually before that, before we close the dump site, we employ them. Uh, we give the uh, rice out of their food for work. We implemented, we, we, we assisted them at our colleagues. Several locals are now receiving benefits due to the employment the CMRF can offer and has helped improve the community of Barangay Sinawal. Ako pa, ako si Hermin Hildo Managban, ang taga rito sa General Santos. Ako si Eljun Balyon from Barangay San Isidro. Ako day si Jordan Naad. So, dati po ako garbage collector ko sa garbage collection sa bawang pa po ang 
dam site natin tapos nung tayo po itong bagong facilities nasaya na po ako dito as ako yung operator po sa sa civil dito uh, doon na maintenance ako ng electrical dito tapos doon ako sa guard uh, sa guard house so may taga sukat na sasakyan yun dati uh, taga segregate na kami dito sa taas ngayon uh, ako dahil sa wala pa sa wala pa ning MRF nagatrabaho ko sa ano o construction niya sa diyang natukodan ning kuan kaning eta uh, CM CMRF photo diyan ako nagtrabaho sa kaning bricks bigyak mo niya mong mga ginatrabaho Siyempre masaya kasi noong una wala pa ito yung makita man natin yung ano sitwasyon natin sa basura Nakatulong dahil nung gawa nung nakuha namin dyan yung mga yung mga nabibinta ay mapirahan nyo so malaking tulong sa amin Mayo kayo ni sa Amoa sir kay nakatabang sa among panginangalan sa Matagadlao kay kay sa among pag uh, sa, sa among pagbuyo dere wala mang guylain nga trabaho among mga sudan mo nang gyud ni busa nagpasalamat jud mi nga natukod ning si MRF kay kun magud dere nang mi naka trabaho kanang terminate The land where the CMRF is situated is under an agreement with the landowner who is a member of an indigenous people's community in Barangay Sinawa. This signifies that the CMRF is approved to the locals and that they are aware of the positive impacts of the CMRF and the proper solid waste management as a whole. Establishing CMRF is one of the answers to the problem in solid waste management and is an example of best available techniques and best environmental practices. With the CMRF, other LGUs may opt to model their own solid waste management from the triumph demonstrated in General Santa City. Active participations from the government, institution, private organizations, as well as individuals is crucial in achieving a cleaner environment. Open burning must be abandoned and the management of waste should instead reflect the available best available techniques and best environmental practices. Together, our actions can make a change and help today and future generations in having a healthy and cleaner environment.